just as time does not stand still, but we human will never the same day after day. It's it's <laughs> we, we we, we, we don't see this that's because most of us don't keep journal we don't keep notes if you keep notes or write you would understand that every day you change you become different the idea you have this morning change them with morphs into something else in the evening we change constantly just as you can't go back and change what happened yesterday that will happen in life. You can only focus on today for a better tomorrow. What you refuse to do today will come back and bite you tomorrow. The only difference is how painful would the bite be? Would it be a little sting by a bee or would it be a huge bite by a shark that could kill you? So you determine. You determine it in your hand. The crazy thing is this is your choice. You have the power of choice to determine what happens to you tomorrow. You have the power of choice to plan your future, your life tomorrow, starting from today. Regardless of what has happened in the past, you have the free will to start today. There is no but there is no excuse. You have that choice. The power of choice, the power to do or not to do is within you. It has been given to you from the beginning. That is the thing that separates you from the animal, from a pig, from a horse, from a goat. The power to make choice. The power to say, I'm not going to eat meat. I'm just going to be vegetarian. I'm not, No, I'm not going to take drugs. I'm just going to be clean. I'm not going to drink. I'm just going to be alcohol free. The animals don't have that choice. They wake up, they have to eat. They have to survive. They have to run. The power to make choice will set you free so you should start using that power to make choice to make a better tomorrow for yourself plan and action they say in life they are just two gears forward or backward drive or reverse there is no neutral gears in life there's no neutral just like you automatic gears in life there's no neutral you can never be neutral if you're neutral you are declining you are declining because people who are driving are moving forward they're driving past you or you can even try this in in, in life and put your car in neutral and just wait by the, the roadside and see what happens is that you cause accident people run into you or people drive past you so in life they're just two gears two actions there's nothing like in action in life you cannot move forward with in action in action you, either you're driving forward or you declining in life is either you're going forward to reach your plan your intention you set out from the beginning or you are in decline you are in reverse you become stagnated because you started out with no plan with no intention no goal you are just um you know those who would say oh i just deal i just did i just did i, I did deal. you become just one of those like you just day from January to December. You just day from one year to five years. You just day in the same position. You are just daying constantly. And you never ask yourself, why am I just daying? Why am I just being? Why am I just stagnant? Why am I just standing still in the same place? So he who is just daying, or like as in he who is just standing still in one position for one year. You are declining. You are dying. You are not growing. And when you start to grow, when you start to decline, everything around you start to move around, move away. People start to leave you behind. They find new goal, new source, new root. There, there's actually this. There's actually this. Um, I think it's a fungi or something. It's a kind of a parasite. Like it has. It's a parasite. It clings onto living, living plants. Do you know? when this plant die this parasite that it's it doesn't have a wing it naturally develops a wing and flies away onto a new plant onto a new host like nature forces it to say look man there's nothing left here i've got to move 
And that's what happens when you stop growing. People move. People leave you behind. So a parasite that is not engineered to have any wings. No. It naturally develops a wing and flies away when it knows its host can no longer sustain it. That's what happens when people begin to move around, live in the same place. You know, your, your, your friends have gone now. You're making new friends with new kids. That is what ha- is happening. People are moving away from me. Why? Because you are stagnating. You are in the same position. You are not growing. You are not changing. You are in decline. And everyone wants to grow. Everyone wants to change. Everyone wants to become. Another example is even the things you spend your money on every day, are, they are evolving. But you are owning the same thing. That's it. But you are owning the same things. Things are evolving. They are changing every day. But you refuse to evolve the owners. Many of you own the latest iPhone or, or Samsung, the latest version every year. Some of you even go as far as queuing on the line for hours early morning just to own a new phone just to own a new phone i wish you could queue just to improve your life just to learn something new some of you go as much as paying extortionate amount just to buy a limited edition of something so you could post it on social media and make other people feel um feel incomplete or feel less than you some of you go as far as pre-ordering a new gadget, a new iPhone, a new Samsung phone, a new whatever before it comes. Limited edition. Just to make you feel you are growing, you're changing, you're evolving. Many of you have the best iPhone, 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 iPhone 12 or Pro Max or whatever. And you post this on social media or whatever just to impress people. But what is it you do with this phone in your hand? Tell me what productive thing is it doing? Other than posting pictures, impressing other people, you know, scrolling, watching comedy, watching skip. What else? How how productive is that phone in your hand? And some of you believe that by you getting the latest gadget, the latest iPhone, you are evolving. Yeah, I've seen it. Some people queue hours, hours, just to pay, just to pay. For something that's going to be free for everyone soon to buy. So, something that's going to be available for everyone else to buy at a decent price. Just to say, I owned it first. Some people queue for that. And that's how they, that's how they, they, they validate their, their growth, their changes, their involvement, you know, in life. You know, the irony of this is we've reached a place in our life where we don't ask ourselves why anymore why because if you ask yourself why just simple why then maybe you might caution yourself and not get into all sorts we own all the latest version of all the gadgets but still we are the old version of ourselves we have not changed from year to year we have in fact remained the same since we're 18 to 35 we've remained the same person but we own every latest gadget the gadgets are changing every year we're going out to get them but we are not changing ourselves you change new versions of iphone uh, samsung phone every year the latest version of trainers but you don't change yourself the only thing that matters you you don't change yourself you don't grow you haven't grown in the past five years you haven't changed anything you haven't learned anything new you haven't done anything new you haven't experienced everything new you all you do is change the latest version of everything but the only thing that counts you never ever bother to change it just because we don't ask why why am i doing the same thing for one year why can't i learn something new Why have I been working just to pay my bills and feed myself? Why haven't I learned anything new after university? Why have I continued to decline after university, year after year, in the same position? And with inflation, I'm earning like 20, 30, 40% less than I've earned five years ago. But I live in the same house, I drive the same car, I, I live in the same neighborhood, but my salary have continued to decline year after year things i could buy for one dollar i could no longer buy for five dollars now why why can't i ask myself why 
why have I not stuck in and do something different? Why am I stuck in this same position for five years? Why can't I progress? Why are my results so bad? Why are my results the same? Why am I stagnating in life? If there's a new um, version of a phone, let's say iPhone, every year and you rush to get that phone, that simply tells you your problem in life. No one is rushing to get the old iPhone. No one. No one is rushing to get iPhone 4 when, when they have access to iPhone 12 or, or iPhone uh, Pro Max. Or no one is getting Samsung 8 when they have access to Samsung S21. No one wants the old version of anything. That's it. It's become old, slower, out of date, out of trend, out of fashion. So you see, if things are not changing for you, that's because you've become the old version of that new thing you're getting. You are not growing. You are not moving forward. You are not replacing yourself with the latest version of yourself every year. You are being left behind. And getting the latest iPhone, Samsung, whatever, would not make you the latest version of yourself. You need to grow that within you. You need to be intentional about your growth, intentional about your place in life, intentional about your destination. So when you hit or when you miss the mark, you know. Where would you go if you never have a target? How would you know if you keep throwing, if you're missing or hitting? When you do, if you don't set a target, how do you know if you're going forward or backward? You have to have an intention. This is my intention for this year. Then you can evaluate yourself. Am I hitting my target? Imagine shooting an arrow and never knowing if you're hitting your target. How can you assess yourself? How can you improve yourself? How can you become the better version of yourself? If you haven't improved your, yourself every year, maybe just one book, one skill, one new language, one um, online course or certification, one seminar, you have remained the same person. And some of us have remained the same person from 18 years to 35 years. The same income, the same experience, the same house, the same neighborhood, the same friends. The same problem, the same complaint. Most of us are just limited by our thoughts. We are not willing to try something outside our comfort zone, something that will challenge us, something we think we could fail in. They say if you're not willing to try what others wouldn't try, you would not make what others would make. Those who refuse to try something hard will never be able to reap the reward of something different. Why? Because they fear failure. Failure would come, but failure would make you stronger, give you experience. Could you enjoy winning if you've never lost before? It's impossible. So by failing, by losing, you now know how to enjoy your winnings. By experiencing difficult period, you know how to enjoy the good turn. If you're not willing to try new things, then you can never reap the reward of new things. If not willing to let go, let go, then you can never receive. You have to let go to receive, not holding on. No, to receive is to let go freely and then you would be able to receive. Maybe you, you always speak to those who say, oh, it's nice to be you, or you're driving such a nice car, or you're living in such a nice house, or you, they, all they say it's nice to be, it's nice to be, or you're very lucky, but once immediately tell them how hard you work, the first thing they say, oh, I can't do that. Oh, oh no, that's not me. Oh, no, 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 ah, no, 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 I, I, no, no, no. That is the first thing. But then they see all you have grown, all you have achieved, all you have become, they become envious of you. But then they cannot set out to graft. They cannot set out to work. They are not willing to put themselves in that place of no return. But then they want to convert all you are going to, all you working towards. Growing, changing, becoming the best version of yourself has to be intentional. It has to be planned from the beginning. From day one, you have to say, this is my goal. I am going to set to become this. You might not hit it, but you are close. Then you can reassess. The difference between those who set out to climb the mountain 
and those who sit at the bottom is just decision decision to look for something better to do no one has ever done anything being in the comfort zone you have to break that box they say success is always uphill yes you will feel the pain when you are trying and failing and always remembering you are climbing uphill why it may be easier to sit at the bottom of the hill just like every other person you know drink caramel milk share stories throw dice or shoot dice play draft chat of the good old time they say many people start at the bottom and sort of lacks there don't let that be you don't let that be you regardless if that's what's happening in your environment don't let that be you you have to have a selective mind to pick from the worst just like lily lily grows in the midst of rubbish but it is that lily it is that lily it is what it is you have to be selective don't let your environment control you what what you realize is that there are some people they have chosen like by choice they've chosen to live at the bottom of the hill but the thing is they want company of course no one wants to be alone they want company so therefore they want to keep you there they want to ensure they have crowd like they say it's always crowded at the bottom why because more people want to keep more people there those are the people who would advise you never to do anything never to go for it or it's too risky or you might fail why because they can never try they are in the comfort zone they have never dreamt of breaking out being free so they want company crab mentality they want to keep you there but i say to you keep climbing that hill it's very very uncomfortable just like climbing any hill it's very very uncomfortable but the more you climb the smaller the hill becomes the greater the view the less crowded it becomes the air becomes fresher sunlight hits you first in the morning before it hits those at the bottom and 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 the, the the late evening sunlight touches you last before it sets when everyone is dark in darkness at the bottom you still enjoying a bit of sunlight that's because you've made the decision you've had the intention to set and climb hills and what separates you from those at the bottom of the hill who has kind of lacks there is the ability to do the ability to do regardless of the outcome the ability to say i'm gonna do this either i win or i fail i'm going to do it i'm gonna shoot my shot i'm gonna raise up my hand and say what i'm gonna say i am gonna ask why regardless the intention not 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 the result at first but the intention they say do what others are not willing to do do what 97 percent of people are not willing to do why because you want to become part of the three percent you are not born to become part of the 93 percent no even the bible says there will always be the poor people just don't be part of them don't write your name in that book the same bible says he who loves to sleep he who loves to sleep and fold he who loves to sleep and the folding of hands poverty poverty will set upon thee like a thief in the night that's the same thing and even as a christian i know this this includes praying folding your hands and praying for miracle without walking it has to be accompanied with work the same bible says god will replenish or support the work the work of thy hand when you go and do more than enough god will guide you god will put you because god knows you are doing this is the power of doing so what i'm saying to you not just because you work eight hours a day five days a week and you think things will change The thing to ask is, are you conditioned just to be doing enough? Just to be doing enough. Because if you have just been in the same position for five years, then you have just been doing enough. 
you have not actually gone all in you've not given more than you've paid for are you conditioned just to do enough to survive to pay your bill to survive is that what you are here for are you going all in are you getting to the place and saying yes i have given all i can possibly do for today are you doing that just because you walk long hours doesn't mean you're doing all you can do they say it's good to work on your job but it's better to work on yourself it's better to work on yourself become what because what you become attracts what you become attract just like the latest phone comes out it attracts people people are willing to pre-order pay for it they haven't actually seen it but they've heard of it what you become attract so just like you line up queue up pre-order the latest version of phones how can you become the ultimate version of yourself the ultimate version of yourself that would attract because they say success attracts success what you become attracts you get what you are you get what you are however you earn it whatever you earn it today that's because that is equal to the amount of services you are providing so how can you become the best version of yourself the best version of yourself that is what you want become the best version of yourself, the latest version of yourself as you go around looking for the best gadget the latest version of the gadget just remember just as no one wants the old iphone 4 no one wants the old version of you everyone looks for the new shiny thing the latest version of you become not 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 the little version of another person no you can never become as good as another person become the best version of yourself you cannot go ar- around life and say oh this is who i am take me for who i am i have tantrum i have temper no you have to look for the best version of yourself and become that best version of yourself the best version of yourself that is going to be profitable to you to your family to other people around you to your environment to your wife to your husband to your children to your society you have to become you have to improve in yourself you have to work on yourself they say everyone everyone in this world is born ignorant but those who refuse to learn those who refuses to learn it's their responsibility you cannot blame any other person for your past for your failure no for if you have the choice to learn and you have refused to learn you are as bad as those who are not able to read they say for he who can read and he who does not read or he who can read but does not read and he who can not read are all the same ignorant so if you can grow or you refuse to grow you're just as bad as those who can never grow 